After a long trip around the world, I finally returned to my room in my parents' house. Then I found this chaotic mess. What on earth is this? Happy New Year, everyone! If you're new here, I'm Aki, who used to be an elementary school teacher and now a full time minimalist in Japan. But I guess I'm disqualified as someone promoting a simple life. Yeah, honestly, my room was like that. No excuse. I just couldn't put in enough effort. But I swear, it will never happen again. So I decided to do a deeper cleaning. So in this video, let's take a look at the before and after and some tips to tidy up. All right, let's get started. Desk area. I've used this desk for over 25 years. Some good memories were there, but honestly, it was mostly the memories of studying. So kind of a bad memory when I was a student. So I wanted to let it go, but it was a gift from my parents and had been with me for a long time. So I couldn't part with it. However, this time, I took the courage to let it go and switched to an IKEA bamboo desk. After that, I felt like it was a huge load off my shoulders and I felt so refreshed. And the space became significantly simpler. This is so good. You might think the drawers were small. Well, that's the beauty of it. Because they are small, there's no room for unnecessary stuff. In the right drawer, stationery. In the middle, Hard drive. On the left, a journal. Less stuff equals less confusion. I can now work stress free compared to before. And yes, it looks simple and stylish, but what bothers me were these codes. I need to do something about this cable spaghetti. Then I found this one. Thanks to this, the codes are organized and the tangled mess is gone. As for the chair, I got a simple bamboo chair to match the desk. I considered a desk chair, but for now, I'm happy with this setup. Bamboo desk, bamboo chair, and yes, a bamboo lamp. By the way, even my bike is made of bamboo. Yep, I'm such a bamboo lover. Usually for work, I use a MacBook Air and a Dell monitor. The Kindle is always on the desk for quick access to books. On the left side of the desk, there are three boxes. The first box is for books. I've decided to limit the space for books to what fits in this box to maintain minimalism. The second box is for small items. It contains travel essentials, tools, and other miscellaneous items. The third box is mainly for medicine. By the way, just like food, medicine also has an expiration date. It's good to check it occasionally. And on the right side of the desk, I have my beloved small broom and dustpan hanging. Why there? Because I have a rule to put frequently used item within 5 seconds. People tend to avoid action if it seems troublesome. For example, if it takes 20 seconds just to get the broom, you might lose motivation to clean, right? That's why within 5 seconds is important. Just this rule has a tremendous effect. It makes actions really stress-free. If you're interested in it, please give it a try. Floor. The floor used to be covered with flooring. It was okay, but I feel like something is missing. Can I guess what? Those who know me well might understand. Yes, tatami mats. Isn't it interesting that the kanji itself looks like tatami mats? Tatami is a plant-based mat made of igusa, playing a crucial role in supporting the foundation of minimalistic living in Japan. In traditional Japanese houses, one room served multiple purposes. It could be a living room, a dining room, and a bathroom. Oh, no bathroom, sorry, bedroom. <laughs> this versatility was made possible by tatami mats. I used the simplified version of tatami mats before, but this time I decided to order proper Japanese-made tatami mats for the first time in my life. Let's open them! Whoa! The aroma is amazing! Alright, let's spread them in my room. Oops, it can't seem to lay them properly. Why is that? Oh, it's because of these protrusions. Let's do a bit of renovation. Alright, I did it. How about that? The atmosphere of the room has completely changed. Right? 
Oh, my beloved tatami. Lately, I do stretching, dance, read books, sleep, and drink matcha on these tatami mats. The tatami floor is the most sacred and happy space in my room. Trivia. The ear and cleaning. While in Western world, there is a tradition of spring cleaning. In Japan, there is the ear and cleaning. By doing this cleaning, it's purifying the home and heart, welcoming the deity of the new year. So I not only cleaned my room, but also hall lights and air conditioner filters in my parents' house this year. All right, let's get back to the story. Closet. Honestly, I didn't want to show you this, but here's the previous state of my closet. How terrible is that? The items I brought with me during the move and travel were scattered. But after cleaning up, it became this neat. The key to closet organization is not overpacking. Because if you pack everything, it becomes very difficult to take things out and in, causing stress. Moreover, when you get new things, having some empty space allows you to store them without stress, right? So I'm always aim for about 70% stretch. The dresser underneath is called a kiridansu. I mainly use it for kimono, but it also contains casual clothes and small accessories for my camera. Open wardrobe. This is an IKEA bamboo open wardrobe. I use it to place clothes and small things. For example, on the top shelf, there is an incense holder, a ukulele, and a YouTube silver plug. Below, it mainly houses my matcha set. This is the one I did kintsugi the other day. Isn't it beautiful? The great thing about this wardrobe is that the bamboo gaps are transparent, making it easy to see what's where. I love it because my favorite things are always inside. Plants. Personally, I love plants, so I always try to have some in my room. Having plants in the room makes me so relaxed and comfortable. Currently, I'm growing these little ones. It's possible to grow them without using soil, so it's easy to take care of, and I really love it. But this seems a bit dried. Oh, I need to take better care of them. Cartons. I used to have these blue cartons, but I removed them. The reason was that having cartons made the room feel heavy. Look, without a carton, the room instantly feels lighter. More light comes in, and the mood brightens. Questioning things we take for granted is sometimes needed when living a simple life. Lighting. Previously, I used a white light as a main light. But I switched to this bamboo light. Oh, bamboo again. Well, the light leaking through the bamboo is so stylish. I stopped using the white light because it was too bright and affected sleep quality. Now with the eye-friendly orange light, I feel more relaxed and sleep deeply at night. Before going to bed, I use an L-shaped light, or Isamu Noguchi's light. I realized L-shaped or square ambient lighting goes well with tatami rooms, because tatami is square. Tonight I read a book with this L-shaped light, and good night. Conclusion. Your room is your personal sanctuary. I believe a room is a personal sanctuary. For Samurai, the tea room provided the role of temporarily forgetting the stressful, war-filled world and entering a peaceful alternate universe. I think our room should be like that too. The outside world and the room are separate spaces. No matter how crazy, stressful, and messy the outside world is, once you open the door and enter the room, it's a different world. It's the place you can forget the stress and worries outside, relax and unwind. That's why I wanted to keep it always in a clean and organized state. A word to the wise. So I've introduced my new room this time. How was it? I hope it can give you even a small inspiration for your room. I'll be sharing my YouTube videos from this room for a while, so please look forward to it. Alright then. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.